Today's Flash Briefing is brought to you by Power Credit Union, proudly serving Southern Colorado. Visit a location today and be empowered. Hi there, I'm Elizabeth Lotz with this News 5 update. And looking ahead, the Colorado State Fair is a go. Despite COVID-19, still happening, but of course with some changes. The general manager says the plan for now is more focus on FFA and 4-H events. There will be a limited carnival and a limited amount of vendors as well. Unfortunately, there won't be any live entertainment like concerts or the demolition derby. We want to have a full state fair, but we also want to make sure that we are not a public health hazard to the state of Colorado also. So it, um, it's a tough day and it's going to be a tough week for, for staff and, and the board and the community because, you know, it's a big pill to swallow, but it's the reality of 2020. And the plans could change depending on the state's response to COVID-19. But for now, the fair happening August 28th through September 7th. Always a good time. Here's Alan Rose. Yeah, that hot weather we typically see late August, early September. We're actually seeing right now in Southern Colorado, right smack dab in the middle of a little heat wave here. And today, temperature hot enough in the springs to tie a record high at 93 degrees. Red flag warnings in effect until 8 o'clock tonight, folks. And another round still in the forecast on Wednesday. This one goes into effect at 11 a.m. across the entire News 5 viewing area and won't expire until tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. Let's check out the temperature trends in the springs over the next five days. Still one more hot, dry and windy day to get through on Wednesday before powerful cold front moves in Thursday, Friday. Not only will it cool temperatures a good 10 to 20 degrees late this week. It also offers up a chance of some widespread rainfall. I think we'll get around Thursday night, perhaps a second round heading into Friday. For Pueblo, we'll be in the upper 90s on Wednesday, Thursday down to the 80s, eventually cooling down to the upper 70s to close out the week. Thank you for listening to today's News 5 Flash Briefing, sponsored by Power Credit Union.